What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. For those of you who stopped by watching the replay, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So I'm wearing something a bit obscure, and I uh, thought about it after, and I was like, mm, see, I was just kind of strong on that one most of the time. Like, I'm smelling my fragrance right now, for those of you wondering. Creed Original Santal, often overlooked and underappreciated, beautiful fruity, super spicy, woodsy, you know, like a raspberry sweetness, a lot of cinnamon, sandalwood. There's other notes going on, but it's kind of the main things you get here. Gorgeous fragrance. Love it, love it, love it. Point being, though, I forgot we were sniffing fragrances in this live stream. And uh, so maybe I shouldn't have went with something that kind of stays in my face the whole time, even though I just have four sprays around the neck. I'm smelling it nonstop because I don't go nose blind to this one. And it's actually pretty strong on my skin. I've had it on for about an hour now. Still pumping off of my skin, so maybe it wasn't the best idea, but I have the new version of Oud Mineral we're going to open, and Brandon, if you happen to see this, you were right. It is the 2024 Eau de Parfum, not the Parfum, which is fine, um, and it does smell slightly different from the old one. I did check it out already. Obviously, I haven't opened Oud Mineral, and I have my 30 ml, the previous version right here, we'll compare it to, and then the new Ferragamo Red Leather, which I haven't opened yet, that came in as well, so we're going to check those out. Two side-by-side -side comparisons with previous versions released, and then Ferragamo Red Leather's brand new fragrance. So we'll wait till around the 10-minute mark, roughly, and then we'll get rolling into it. Let's talk to the chat for a little bit. <sighs> yes, he did. Now I know why I was getting asked so many Dragon Ball questions yesterday afternoon in, in, in the stream. Uh, yeah, he passed yesterday. It's been all over the place, man. That's pretty much millennials everywhere are heartbroken, <laughs> you know. Um it sucks for a lot of us our favorite cartoon ever it's mine i know it's anime but it's still a cartoon um it's my favorite ever big dragon ball fan the whole universe we talked about it yesterday but may he rest in peace brilliant creation that spanned multiple decades because dragon ball came out in the 80s first series that came out in the 80s dragon ball z the first version the original version dubbed in english is the way to watch um was like 89, 90, something like that. Still one of the most watched animated series in the world to this day. Amazing stuff. So good to see you, Neil. Kicks Griffey's in the house. Bath and Body Works Ridgeline Body Cream layered with Burberry Touch. Kicks Griffey approved. TAC is wearing Nishanae's Karagos. We're on a date with the old lady celebrating our 55th wedding anniversary today. Well, congratulations. That is a very long time. Um, just goes to show that it's not just guys my age that watch and not all guys older than me look down on me because I wear flat bill hats in my late thirties going into forties. So I appreciate you even more now that you've kind of dated yourself as an elder gentleman, not old man, not going to say that cause you're not an old man. You hip to the game, you're hanging out on fragrance live streams and stuff like that with a cat like me. So I appreciate you even more now, sir. I hope you and the wife have a wonderful, wonderful anniversary. Happy anniversary. I know you'll be smelling good. And like I said, I appreciate you even more knowing that, my man. Good to see you, Scott. Mr. M.A. Styles wearing Hugo Boss Ice. That couldn't tell you the last time I sprayed that. Yes and no. Yes and no. Most of the time, I just wear my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. But yes and no. I'm, I don't plan on buying. I haven't bought a watch in a while. And that's because uh, I haven't told you guys, but I'm kind of holding off. But there's a specific, very iced out Breitling Super Ocean I've been having my eyes on for about two years. I got my motorcycle instead of getting that. And then, you know, did other things the next go around when I had a nice chunk of change. And it's like, mm, eventually, you can get a house and all that stuff first before I go dropping $10,000 on a watch. But the next time I buy a watch, it's going to be an extremely iced out Breitling Super Ocean that I've been having my eyes on for, I mean, a few different dial colors. But yeah, I've been wanting one for years and I don't care who likes it or not. Eventually, I'm getting that Breitling Super Ocean one of these days. Then Cuba and, and Buck won't be the only guys iced out in this community. I don't need a necklace, but I need the watch. Zerjoff Renaissance, great choice. Joel, good to see you, sir. One more urban feel. Effle Parfum, they nailed it. They nailed it. It smells just like Wyla Parfum. 
Good to see you, sir. Dior Rome 2020, great fragrance. Zerjoff Fierro, another fantastic Fougere fragrance. That's a great fragrance right there. Hope all of you frag heads are having a great day. Jean Lowe Immortal. Well, good to see you. Second Soul. Yeah, definitely not a surprise. I know it's pretty much your favorite fragrance. Somewhere Justin Copeland is smiling, which I we've been texting back and forth randomly. A lot of stupid comments today. When it's stupid comment heavy day, we we screenshot them back and forth to each other. We've been getting our share of goofy shit in our comment section today. Good to see you, sir. Noir Extreme from Tom Tom Ford, the Parfum Flanker. Dilly, good to see you. Ventus Cologne. Whew, man, you just dwarfed my Creed fragrance for the day. I, this, this is one of my favorites from Creed, but that's my favorite from Creed. That's the best one to me. Joel is wearing a good one. I haven't worn that in a long time. It's very similar to Office for Men. Bergamot, Amber, and Broxen. It's similar. It's not the same fragrance, but it's similar. Good. Oh, another one wearing Jean Lowe Immortal. Coco Loco, excellent choice. I feel like I'm just going to get asked every stream. I Like lately, I've been asked this once a day. And the answer is the same. Not really. Vetiver at one point. Drew, I feel like you've heard me say this five or six times recently. Because you're in every stream. Like, I can't believe you haven't heard me say this in the last two weeks. Because I've been asked this like almost every stream recently. Um, I'm shocked that you haven't heard it come up. Um, maybe you weren't around during that part of those streams, but there was a earthy vetivers used to be a bit of an issue for me. So it was mostly vetiver for the longest time, but that changed. And now it's pretty much nothing. There's no specific notes that are turnoffs for me. First wear Manhattan. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a beautiful floral tobacco. It's good stuff. Code ultimate kind of jealous. Never smelled it. Always wanted to. Addition Blanche, good stuff. Juan Ochoa, good to see you, sir. Anniversary dinner with my, oh, you and TAC share an anniversary date, apparently. BR540 x straight pulling out the big guns. Okay, then. Happy anniversary. I hope y'all have a great evening. John Barbados Artisan Blue, my favorite cheap spring fragrance. My One of my favorite summer fragrances. OG Vray, great choice. Strong with you, Freeze. Very much underappreciated. It's actually, I mean, it's hard to say one of the better versions of Strong with you because I think they're all great fragrances but that didn't get the kind of love that i felt it deserved when it was around because i don't think it's in production anymore i think it's discontinued since only came around and it's better than only i think it's better than strong with you only personally dame good to see you, big dog montclair la cordie weren't you wearing that yesterday as well i believe i think you said that in dedrick stream yesterday too Prada alone all-time great and I wish it was the parfum. So you are here. <laughs> you were totally right. Because I triple checked. I told you when you brought it up, I triple checked with my rep over and over and over. And no, it's, it damn sure is the new 2024 Eau de Parfum. And I'll show you guys real quick. We're not diving into it just yet. But yeah, it damn sure is. Bottle looks cooler. I got to say, it is nicer than the previous one. And like I said, I did spray it already. It does smell a little different, but that could be because the other bottle is aged by a few years. That's more than likely the issue. Because we're going to start with the brand new fragrance first. We're going to start with Ferragamo. I am going to get the Parfum. <laughs> well, when it's easier to get. And I know every because people have been sending Alberto Marias's post to me left and right on Instagram today. Yes, I saw it. And yes, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Aqua de Joe Elixir too. Everybody, I'm so surprised it hasn't come up in the chat yet. When I say I've had probably 20 people send me that post on Instagram in a DM. And it came up on my feed. I had already saw it on my feed and everybody's just like, did you see this yet? Did you see this yet? Did you see this yet? And I appreciate it. I'm excited by it too, guys, because I'm confident an Aqua de Joe Elixir will be fantastic. I think there's never been and never will be a bad Aqua de Joe. If it ties to the original, it's always going to be good. And there's always going to be people that complain about it. And there's always going to be people that love it. I'm going to be on the side that's always going to love it. Talked about it yesterday. I had no idea about the news. Yeah, I didn't know at the time either. It had already happened. I didn't know at the time. Yeah, same. Pretty much millennials in general. I've been seeing, like, my I'm on an algorithm on TikTok where it's flooded with the Kira Toriyama stuff. Once you sit there and watch one of them, you don't have to like it. You don't have to comment. Once you sit there and watch through one of them, you're on that algorithm. TikTok grabs you quick. To me, 19 degree with an all-black outfit. Do you ever met? Uh, not really. Happy accidents happen pretty often. Happy accidents is what I'll call them. 
504 Lefty, long time no see. How are you, sir? Why I sell myself? I have original Santal, but it says Mont Blanc Individual on the bottle. And then if you spray this next to it, you'd be like, holy shit, that's why it's more expensive. Just saying. Boss bottle intense. Chili day, so I'm rocking Assad. So tomorrow, um, Assad Zanzibar comes in. That order's coming in tomorrow from the Tafa. Brioni Eclat, Norstat Quattro, Pratolome Low. Ooh, sounds like a good haul to me. That's double my age. <laughs> Holy congrats. Yeah, that's, that's a long time, man. Ooh, uh, Creation E. Much more complex. I love Tonka Cola, but Creation E, man. Definitely got to go that route. What happened here? Because I did smack this on some equipment early, and it just when I touched my hand, it feels like a bruise right away. Reckless at the gym. I always end up with some random cuts and bruises and shit when I get home. And the wife's like, what happened right there on your bicep? I got like a little bruise right here. So hit something at the gym. I don't know. Adrenaline's going, bumping into stuff, smashing fingers and shit. Savage stuff going on at the gym, guys. But both are great. Not exactly redundant, similar, but not exactly redundant because Creation E is all about cognac and tobacco and heliotrope, all notes that aren't in Tonka Cola. Tomorrow, tomorrow mine comes in. Hulk or Batman. Hand. Now, the Rolex I plan on getting one day is the Chocolate Dial Two Tone Ever Rose Yacht Master 40. I've tried it on at Rolex years ago, you know, several years ago. One day. One day I will get that. That will be my uh, my Rolex purchase. One day. The crazy thing is, you can get a used one for way more than a brand new one because it's so they're so scarce when you get on these waiting lists. It's unreal. One day I'll get that, and maybe I never do. Who knows? But if and when, that's the one I want. Yacht Master Forty Chocolate Dial, Two Tone Ever Rose. Hmm. Smoking hot, blue blood oranges, Sphinx black Anubis. That's good stuff. Loam cologne blue. Once summer rolls around, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spraying that one. Timbo slice, another name I haven't seen in a while. Oh, well, that's part of it. We'll see when the other part of it comes up. Here we go. A good mint fragrance for that would be Zerzhov Renaissance. That can beat the heat pretty well, and it's super refreshing. Zerzhov Renaissance. First thing comes to mind here. <clears throat> What bike do you ride? I have a GSXR 600 with a full race exhaust of a Two Brothers Black Series uh, Canon filter, and it has been tuned. No adjustments, no teeth up or down on the front and rear sprocket, sprockets or anything like that. It's not a power commander. It's just been tuned. It's basically a 750. Honestly, it's basically a 750. Uh, a little gloomy and windy today. It was sunny this morning, but the wind's really picked up. It's going to rain tonight going into tomorrow, unfortunately. But the last two days were beautiful. Probably was some black, black good stuff. So we're way past time. We need to jump into this. Scroll down a little bit. Miss K, good to see you've been a while. Thinking of wearing a sample of Evie Mystique. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. All right. So skipping around a little bit. Cherry Smoke for Leg Man. All right. Like the name. Neo, excellent choice. Should have worn a Ferragamo in spirit. Such an amazing brand. I'm a big fan. Loving your content. My bank account hates you, though. Grease Charnel x straight. That's not my fault because I've never smelled that one. So you can't blame that purchase on me. I have smelled the EDP, though. EDP is really good. Nice and earthy iris. Hit the like button. Let them know we're in Tobacco Road. Speaking of BDK. All right. So I'm skipping around a little bit. I apologize, guys. I have to. Thank you. It's actually the first time I wear it. It was from one of those mini hat hauls of the late summer, early fall of this past year. Just pulled the stickers off of it earlier. I was like, well, I want to wear something that's kind of, it's not the exact same olive green, but oh, yeah. I saw it and I was like, man, I haven't wore that. Let me get that California Angels and rock that bad boy. So I sure did. I shared that to my stories. I want to show my wife because actually the first time I saw the Red Diamond Award, WWE hit 100 million subscribers today. And uh, are just recently, and they got the Red Diamond Award. It comes in a red YouTube case and everything. It's badass. I'll never see that. No matter how long I do this, what happens if a video goes viral, 
it'll never happen. I'm sorry. There's, I can't imagine. This is one of those rare times I'm comfortable saying never. There's never going to be a fragrance reviewer on YouTube with 100 million subscribers. Not 100 million. This WWE is just the 10th YouTube channel in history to hit 100 million. So we'll never have that in this space, but it was still cool to see it's a badass looking award. It totally dwarfs that. <laughs> it totally dwarfs that. But all right. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this Ferragamo. It did come in this. It's sliding around a little bit in here, but this is the new Ferragamo red leather. Still in its cellophane and everything. I did not take it out. I have not even pulled it out of this box prior to this moment. Actually, we'll leave this open and I will put the cellophane inside that. So standard Ferragamo stuff red leather so the only one i don't have is spicy leather i have intense leather i have bright leather of course i have the original this line is actually really good for any of you that haven't tried any of them i would suggest trying the original first um violet, violet leaf rosemary kind of thing it's a blue fragrance with a lot of green elements intense leather you get a little bit of leather it's very earthy and iris heavy but you still get that violet leaf DNA of the original. And then with bright leather, it literally smells like blonde Italian leather with some citrus. But this is easily the best looking bottle of the bunch. This smoke gray colored glass with the red. It's a good looking bottle right here. Hefty. Has their, their bit for the logo, which you guys know the other side of it's here on the bottom. So, you know, the Ferragamo bit that's on the loafers, that's on the belt. It splits on top and bottom of the bottle. And they do have a great atomizer on this bottle, I got to say. It's been a little while since I sprayed one of these bottles, but I think. Ooh, spicy. Definitely spicy fragrance. Get rid of some of this alcohol and get this out of the way. Pretty excited about this one. We literally just looked at this on eye fragrance a week ago. And after I finished filming it, I literally went to Latafa's website and bought Asad, Asad Zanzibar and went to Ferragamo's website and bought this. It is quite spicy. I like that. It's, arom it's an aromatic spice. And the leather here is a little, a little edgy. It's a different type of leather accord from bright leather and definitely different from intense leather. I don't remember the notes. But it's a very aromatic spice. Aromatic spicy, I, I would say, is probably the best, at least in the opening, the best way to categorize this. It's so airy that I think you could get away with this one in the heat. It's not too dense. It's not really super bright, but there's, like I said, there's an airiness to this. This is real, like this is better than bright leather. This is better than intense leather. This is better than the original. I don't know if it's better than spicy leather, but this is better than all three of the ones I have. Let's pull these notes up. Let's uh, revisit. Whoops. Here we go. Ginger, Italian bergamot, mandarin orange, iris, jasmine, rosemary. Leather, sandalwood, vetiver. It's quite aromatic, and there's really no aromatics here. The ginger makes sense. It's clearly the spice. Rosemary can be adding to the spice as well. Rosemary's from the original fragrance as well. There's no violet leaf here. But that's probably what's helping provide some of this freshness, because even though they're not listing it, the two, two of the main notes in the original fragrance is violet leaf and rosemary. The very violet leaf and rosemary heavy fragrance, the original DNA. It's like there's a white floral tone to it, but I would not have guessed iris. Like jasmine, sure, makes sense. Or lily of the valley, maybe something like that, or freesia, because there's like this fresh white floral smell to it. But iris, I would not have guessed. It doesn't have a typical iris smell. It's not waxy. It's not that makeup smell. It's not super powdery. A little bit of powder, but nothing 
to get excited about if you like powdery fragrances and nothing to worry about if you don't like powdery. Barely anything. And it doesn't have a tip. Like I said, it doesn't have a typical fantasy iris note smell or natural, slightly earthy iris. None of that orris butter creaminess. It, whatever iris is in here, at least to me, it's a small percentage because it's not jumping out at me. I do like this, though. It's got more of a suede type of like, like a fuzzy suede kind of smell more so than typical leather maybe it is the same leather accord that's in bright leather because that's a softer much more supple leather accord that's in ferragamo bright leather it might be the same accord that spice is holding strong though that ginger is coming across a little bit warm but not creamy i like it honestly i think it's the best of the bunch now, take that with a grain of salt because I've never tried spicy leather. It's the only one I don't have. I have to repeat that. I, so I don't know if it's better than that one. I've heard good things. Might might be the best one to a lot of others. I just haven't tried it. I think this is an 8 out of 10 kind of fragrance. It's not remarkably unique. I don't think it's special. I don't encourage any of you to buy it at retail like I did. Wait. Don't buy this at retail unless you just feel you have to have it. Like if you have all of the previous releases, okay. If you're the type that has that completionist in you, I get why you want to go ahead and get it. But it's not worth what I paid. I paid, it was over 100 but it's not special enough. It's really good, though. I do like it. But with that said, I feel like I'd have been okay with waiting spontaneous move you know i probably would have been fine with waiting but then again spicy leather's been out for a while and i don't see it at discounters all that much once in a while it'll show up so i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten i do think it's a great fragrance but i do think my encouragement here is wait it's not so great that i i would say do what i did go buy it from ferragamo it's not that serious Really good. It's just not that serious. It's not a fragrance that you'll be missing out on if you just wait a few months and let it hit discounters. And when it hits discounters, it'd probably be like 70 or 80 bucks. Still maybe a little higher than I would like, but I'd be much better with that than like the 110, 120, whatever it was I paid, 115, something like that before taxes. Again, not the end of the world. I like it. I'll wear it. I do think it's great. That's why I gave it an 8 out of 10. But it's not like you need to add this to your collection. It's not that serious. Good stuff, though. Let's get caught up on the chat. Um, so it's been around 70, 75 degrees here, so not now. When it's hot and humid. I guess I've been getting asked about summer lists lately. It's like, guys, spring just started. No, I'm not doing summer videos right now. Cam, you just happen to be the person asking about a high heat video. So you're the one that's going to hear it about the summer fragrances, guys. That's like when the end of summer rolls around and people are like, I'm sick of freshies. When are we getting a winter video? What? I've been asked that. Yeah. It's like, wait till we get closer to the season. We got a little bit of spring going. Now, look, mid spring, once we get like maybe late April, early May, probably going to start doing some summer stuff because it's going to pretty much be summer weather here at that point. That's when you'll see me rolling those out, probably. When they're much more, you know, in the moment. Whereas right now it's just getting ahead of the game. And I, I don't need to do that. I'm not going to be like Jeremy and do, uh, you know, top 10 winter fragrances 2027 here in spring 2024. Jeremy's good for doing shit like that, like a, you know, six months a year in advance. <laughs> I've seen him do that before. Shout out to Jeremy. Um, when the time comes, my man, don't worry. Trust me, I will do it. I will do it. Oh, that's where we were. Okay, I'm calling right now. Stone Cold's going to help Cody. It'd be cool. People are really pushing that narrative because he's been working out so much. I don't know what nope means, but all right. Nope, it is. Dracar Noir. Great choice. Never was a big fan of it, but I respect it. Driving on the freeway. Hey, to all. Good to see you, Spencer. Hope you're doing well. Be safe. Second live I caught. Cool channel. Malcolm, I appreciate that. 
Ud Mineral and Costa Azura were ones that truly shocked me. Didn't think they'd be as good as they were. Funny enough, Costa Azura, every version, I have three of the versions. I don't have the private blend EDP, but I have the signature EDP. The Parfum and the Aqua, my favorite Tom Ford's. Costa Azura in general, my favorite Tom Ford fragrance. Ud Mineral, I'm not going to say it's my second favorite, but it's one of it's one of my favorites for sure. Love Drakkar. Gave Darth Vader vibes. That was cool looking, I got to say. All Saints Concrete Rain. Zanzibar is so good. IBG in the house, fresh off the 14-day probation. I love how people call it probation all the time. Anisha Oud for greatness. Great choice. Great choice. Welcome to the stream. See, I'm sure it's really good. It might be the best one. Eventually, I'll get it. It's crazy that I got the new one before I got the last one. Because I've been typically getting them not too long after they release once they hit discounters. But let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be this one over bright leather, but not by a large margin. Not really. And look, honestly, if I sit here and spend time with them, I still might favor bright leather because honestly, bright leather is a little bit more unique than this, though. This doesn't remind me of a specific fragrance. It's kind of a toss up between this and bright leather. It's a great problem to have. Be, that means that they're just both really enjoyable and kind of speak to my taste to where it's like I can't really decide which I like better. And that may happen. It may only you know complicate the situation more once I get spicy leather and be like, damn, I don't know which one I like the most. Intense leather is my least favorite. It's still good, but it's my least favorite. I like the original more. Um, but bright leather is really good. And this, this is actually really good too. But again, I encourage you guys, wait. Don't No need to go buy it at full retail. This ain't the topic, but quickly want to say rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. No worries, man. A couple of people have brought it up. And yes, it's it's, a, it's sad for us Dragon Ball fans for sure. My favorite leather perfume. Good to see you, Anna. Good to see you, Roy. Terry Mez, EDT, Center of the Night, Blue de Chanel, Eau de Parfum. Center of the Day, Jack of Clubs, the Blue Electric Clone. Luis, good to see you. I'm off Milestone. Here's a summer option. That is indeed. Definitely love in love with Paradise Garden so far. So my wife, um, the package with all three of the uh, Paco Rabanne Phantom fragrances came in today, which also had uh, her two Latafa fragrances I ordered and LaBelle Paradise Garden. She fell in love with LaBelle Paradise Garden. Oh, by the way, for those of you that saw this morning's video, Lazuli, that's what she wore this morning. She fell in. So she's like in hog heaven today with fragrances. Um, she didn't open the two Latafas yet, but she sprayed Lazuli this morning and wore that most of the day. And then she switched it up to, to LaBelle Paradise Garden. And she's like, I have such a great lineup for summer now. She's like, what made you buy me these? Oh, yeah, I just got to revamp you for the coming warm months. It's our first spring and summer at the beach. Full spring and summer. We weren't here last spring. We got here at the end of summer. August 1st was when we moved in last year. So it's like revamping because she's getting in beach mode. You know, she's been getting in beach mode. We've been going walk the beach and stuff like that, but we haven't been able to get in the water and stuff. The water is still cold. So I figured I'd hook her up with some more tropical stuff, which LaBelle Paradise Garden is great. It does smell great. Very tropical coconut stuff. It's really good. Green Stravaganza, I haven't tried yet. What occasions do you use Carlisle for? And do you think Tina, I think anybody can pull anything off if they're confident and how they conduct themselves and how, how they carry themselves. Your personality, if you're the timid type, then yeah, you probably won't pull off a very assertive fragrance. And I'm not saying you are. I'm just giving an example. Whereas if you conduct yourself with confidence in your movements, the way you speak, the way you articulate, it really doesn't matter what you're wearing because then you're wearing the fragrance. The fragrance isn't wearing you. Does that make sense? And that's definitely a cooler weather fragrance, in my opinion. You can wear it daytime. It doesn't have to be evening. Good to see you, JT. My favorite rainy day scent. Thanks for the heads up about the Aqua de Joe. I'm going to get the parfum when it gets out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to grab it when it comes around. We've been around a few weeks ago, and it's amazing. Love the salty aquatic amber dry down. So that's one thing I'm curious about because this kind of has that waterlogged, rotten, dry rotted wood smell to it, which sounds terrible, but totally works in this fragrance with how aquatic it is. So I'm curious to see if the new version smells just like this. Because this came out three times. They had the original private blend, 
This is the re-release in that translucent graphite gray color, which I love. This is like my favorite Tom Ford bottle. Got the 30 ml because the 50 mls were going for like six, seven hundred bucks. That's why when they re-released it in the signature line, I was like, hmm, there's my 50 ml to grab. I couldn't tell you the last time I smelled it. Chris, good to see you. Uh, Emir Rifakat is a great clone from Paris Corner. I still would, yes. Very spicy. Not not a beast or anything, so temper your expectations on performance. Granted, that's on my skin. It's like a six-hour fragrance. You might get more, but a lot of people on the internet complain about getting less, so you never know. But it's nice and warm and spicy. Very much an evening-appropriate scent. Frappin announced Luministe Extreme. I know Justin's pretty excited about that one. Hmm. Definitely anything mind games. They have smaller discovery sets, and then they have the olfactive travel atomizer discovery sets. That's the way to go to try some mind game stuff. I am a fan of Herbapura. I have my little 15 ml of Herbapura from the little 15 ml discovery set. So I tried OG Red Tobacco. I definitely like the intense way, way better. Me too, Kara. Me too. The OG kind of gives me a Carmex smell. I don't get that, but it's fair. It's definitely fair. Kind of late, but picked up Savage EDP today. Have the EDT and the Elixir. Enjoy it, man. Don't let anybody detour you. I featured it in one of my shorts videos. That's a triggering shorts video I did this morning. Top five colognes ever. Simple, get views, shorts video kind of title. And it's Savage EDP is the first damn fragrance in there. Because that's I, all the versions of Savage are great fragrances. I don't care what anybody says. If you don't like it and it's not for you, you don't like it and it's not for you, doesn't make it a bad fragrance. So you enjoy your Savages, man. Because when I get in the mood to wear any of them, which is usually the Parfum, because I have a big 200 ml bottle of the Parfum, I enjoy the hell out of every minute that I can smell them. So you enjoy your fragrances, man. So let's get into another one, shall we? I would like to do Oud Mineral. The color scheme. I've only seen the pictures, but the color scheme of this bottle looks magnificent in pictures. This is the first time I've seen them do this color scheme with this signature line bottle. I'll do a little housekeeping real quick. I'll toss this in my garbage. Save that for last. Oh. There's another piece to put. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, that is good looking. That is a smooth looking bottle. I like that. Let me turn the autofocus off so I can show you guys. I like the look. It's got like this uh, coffee look, coffee color brown to it. Like a dark copper and like a rich coffee. I like it. I like it. Let me put the autofocus back on so I can come back into focus. I like the look. I like how they're doing something a little different. It's not all the same bottle over and over. Because Costa Azura and uh, Beau de Jour, same bottle. Like, the, don't get me wrong, the bottle looks great. But metallic, different. But like this style bottle where you can't see through it and it's chrome. Ombre leather has that black faux leather, which ombre leather parfum comes in tomorrow. All right. So we're going to do Oud Mineral and Oud Mineral, and then we'll do Profondo Profondo on the bottom. Okay. New version. Close to the, well, wow, that's a bad idea. That's going to drip. So I got two sprays by the watch. So we're going to do new versions closest to the wrist, old versions on the forearm. So that way you guys know what's what, just in case I go to getting confused because you never know shit happens. And we might as well get the old version and get one spray. It's going to be plenty. So here we go. Second release of Oud Mineral. Third release of Oud Mineral. So three times this fragrance has come out. This is such a freaking masterpiece. It's so unique for an aquatic. Again, waterlogged, yet dry rotted wood. Salt waterlogged, but dry rotted. 
Isn't that a weird way to describe a fragrance? And any of you that have it right now are probably going, I'll be damned. It does smell like that. From the moment I've smelled it, the first time I smelled this bottle, that's what I've thought about it. Now, maybe it's just me. But that's what I get. And it works. There's even a little bit of a spiced woodsy tone to it. It's the same. It's the same. So buy with confidence. If you're worried about it not smelling like the previous version or maybe being a watered down version, it's, it's got the same amount of pop right here in the, in the opening. Honestly, this smells a little bit stronger. And this has matured for about a year. I got this around this time, maybe like April of last year. Like it was spring when I got this bottle last year. This actually smells like it's, but, but this is two sprays. The other one's one spray. So that could be it. Could be that. <laughs> it's probably that. Saltwater logged, yet dry rotted wood. Contradictory. And my keyboard is soaked. <laughs> it's soaked with fragrance oil. I'm going to have to wipe that down later. Oh, man. Where is the previous comment? Where's the comment that's highlighted? There it is. I wouldn't pull it down. Aquatic, woody. Yeah, that is the two main things. Fresh and spicy. Sure. Smoky, it comes later. When the smokiness comes later. Fur balsam, marine notes, musk, ambergris, oud, and pink pepper. This is very much a dry oud. Hence the reason I say dry rotted wood. It's very much a dry oud with marine notes that make it watery and aquatic. Almost like a, a niche driftwood oil in some ways. Like if that if there's such a thing as a higher quality driftwood. Because it still gives that aquatic saltwater smell, but that it's like waterlogged. I want to say the previous version had, um, look, here's the old bottle. Isn't that a cool looking bottle? Those 15 mils are crazy expensive. And then there's the original private line 250, private line 100 ml. So this was first version, second version, and then now we got third version. This is such a good fragrance. Spices settling in more, very woodsy, nice and aquatic. This has like, um, if there's such a thing as an elegant upscale aquatic, Tom Ford Oud Mineral would fall into that. This is special occasion summertime when you still want that familiarity of the aquatic freshness, but you want something intriguing, something to be a bit more interesting, something that will make even yourself when you get a whip go, hmm, that's different. This is that kind of fragrance. So is it blind by safe? Absolutely not. Oh, God, is this not blind by safe? But the beauty of it is depending on your Sephora, if it's one that's in a Kohl's, they might not have it. But a full-on Sephora store, they'll probably have this. Go try it. That was how I tried Costa Azura and Costa Azura Parfum the first time. That's how I've tried a lot of different Tom Fords. Go to Sephora. And not a Sephora that's in Kohl's. Most of the time, you, they're not going to have the Tom Fords. Not all the time, but most of the time. If you go to a full-fledged full Sephora that's in a, a strip mall or a shopping mall, they'll typically have Tom Ford, most of them. And since this is a new release... They're more than likely going to have it. So I would encourage going, try this, and see if it's for you. And look, it's still not crazy cheap from discounters. 155 is retail for this 50 ml. I paid 132. So it's not much of a discount. You can catch 15% off codes at certain times from Sephora and actually get it cheaper than that. Because it would have been 15 bucks plus another 750. That would have been 22 off. So it would have been at about the same. A couple bucks apart, it would have been in the low 130s. So. Kind of what and what. So this is roughly in the realm of 15, 16% off of retail is what I paid. And did I need it? No, I got 30 ml that I was probably never going to completely go through. But I did want to see the difference. I did want to see if there was a difference. I don't detect a difference. I would think they're going to dry down the same because they smell the same in the opening. This is a magnificent fragrance. This is nine out of 10 kind of stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Not for everyone. 
there's no way everybody's going to like this fragrance. I would be amazed. I mean, nobody, there's no such fragrance that everybody likes. But this one in particular, on the polarizing side, this is a no gray area kind of fragrance where I don't think too many people will fall in between where they kind of like it or it's good but not great. It's going to be, yeah, this is terrible, not for me. Or, oh my God, like I said, when I first sprayed it, masterpiece. I think it's going to be one of the two extremes with this fragrance. And I think traditionally that has been the case with it. Um, far from safe. Definitely sample first, but nine out of 10 kind of stuff. Very unique. Watery aquatic, a little spiced, waterlogged, yet dry rotted wood. I'm sticking to my story on that. And Queening, Queening's great. I never tried Lenora. It's been wearing around since I got the Discovery set and a lot of, attracted a lot of positive attention. Fahrenheit intensely. Mm. Have you tried Invictus Victory Elixir? Because it seems like you, well, you do have a good vanilla with the mall elixir. That might be worth checking out. It's earthy because of the patchouli, smoky, ambery, a lot of vanilla. If you like vanilla, it's one of the better vanilla designers to me. Or if you want something with a little bit of a Middle Eastern touch, one million golden oud. Spicy, woodsy, leathery, smoky. Little touch of one million's DNA, probably the least one million of the bunch. I do not. I don't. I don't recall. No, I don't think I do. Let's see if you pick that up. I will keep that in mind. Good to see you, Gary. Just jumped on. We're in by the fireplace. Great, great fragrance. No. No. Now the salt water appeal to them. Sure. But that's more of a synthetic seaweed, like really, you know, feet in the water in the Gulf of Mexico, which you're in Canada. So I don't know if you've ever had your feet in the Gulf of Mexico. That's the body of water right here next to me. Uh, very heavy salt water. Um, that's like being ankle deep at the beach near the pier is how I look at Bulgari Aquaporum. Whereas this is like standing on the pier more because it's so much more woodsy. Big woody dominance here from that oud note. So in the same vein, yes. Same level of appeal, mm -mm. no. Much more polarizing fragrance here, whereas Bulgari Aquaporum, super compliment machine. Mass appealing aquatic kind of stuff. All-time great mass appealing aquatic, aquatic for compliments. At least my experience and seems to be the consensus for others. That's fair. I think that of it as well. Good to see you, sir. Boss the scent elixir. It's a sneaky beast. You got that from me. I immediately go nose blind to it. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't really go nose blind right away. Eight hours later, I start smelling it again. Tried Uminaral, two different Sephora's, was not a fan. See? Just didn't work well for me. It was too screechy and messy. I still, I'll still give it more tries. It's not for everyone. I think I've tried the forward. I don't remember it distinctively, so it must not have been that great to me. Climatic, what's going on, my man? Literally just finished talking about it. Scroll back like five minutes. I am a fan of Oud Wood, but I have Spirit of Kings Zorak, which is like spot on. High quality ingredients. So it's like I have zero reason to buy Oud Wood. I do want to try Oud Wood Parfum, though, to get the experience. Another one on the list. All right. So let's go ahead. With that said, we checked out. So, Climatic, you're just getting here. We started with Ferragamo Red Leather, and then we did a quick compare. They're the same thing with Oud Mineral. Now we're going to do new version of Profondo with original version of Profondo and see what's what. So, since I sure as hell don't need it, next month's mystery package is going to have this, this half ounce of the new version. That's going to go in there. I believe it's a half ounce. Very small print. I'll have to look at the box. I believe it's half ounce. It is half ounce, 15 ml. So that 15 ml is going to be part of the mystery package for this month. Drawing it through the month. So here we have it. It is a larger bottle. Oh, let me adjust the focus. 
So we have the 2024 version, Profondo Eau de Parfum, different gradients to the bottle. Same color blue, it's just gradient versus being solid, that color blue. And I've already sprayed them side by side just to give you guys a heads up. I just, I don't know, I was bored the other night. So what the hell, let's give it a spray. Pretty much the same, but I did get a little, actually the newer version came across a little bit stronger to me, which was kind of odd. So again, we're going to spray close to the wrist with the new one. And older version going on the forearm. So I've seen people complain about performance with this one when two years ago everybody was talking about Beast. What happened? What happened? And I don't just think it's some reformulation stuff because I don't know. Oh God, that smells good. Two big sprays, two different bottles of the same fragrance. This this is a beast. This is a beast. And this seems to be a little bit stronger. I get that mimosa smell to it, you know, that orangey mandarin and mimosa stuff going on. Super aquatic. God, this DNA is so good and Profondo is so good. The only thing I can really tell is the newer version and it could just be me. Which it's weird to say that the older, more macerated one isn't the stronger, more intense one. But this comes across as a little bit more intense in the opening. Same scent, just a little bit stronger to me. And it's just one spray of each. Oh, heavy hit of the orange and, and the, the mimosa. With all of that salty marine aquatic smell. Man, so good. So good. Obviously redundant. Again, I triple checked with my rep before I made my order. So that's the new parfum. So the new parfum is not out. And he was like, yes, yes, it is. It is. It is. No, the picture wasn't on the website yet. It's the new 2024 version of the Eau de Parfum. So not the end of the world. I actually have a sealed backup bottle of this. That's going to be spin number two for this month on the All-Star tier. So we're going to have two pretty good designers, one that you guys will vote for, members, for the all-star tier, the 999 tier. And the second spin is going to be a sealed 75 ml of Profondo, old version. So because I'm going to keep the new version just to have the comparison for talking points and stuff like that, because I'm going to go back to not spraying this. It was just like why I'm going to keep going spraying the one that's got the lower level. But um, this is just going to kind of sit there. May never get used. I don't know. But for comparison's sake, one day in a video, you never know it might come up. But I technically have three bottles of this now. I damn sure don't need three bottles. So since I have two of this one, the sealed one, because uh, I did a collaboration with when Profondo Lights came out with Armani a couple years ago. And they gave me an extra bottle. I already had Profondo. And they gave me another bottle. So I was just kind of sitting there with it. It's sealed. I didn't know what to do with it. Well, now I know what to do with it. Now I have an exa a great reason to, do to add it into member giveaway. So let me just keep this. It's a little warmer orange. That's kind of weird. Hmm? A little strange. I don't think they have the new version on here. They don't. Because the note breakdown is different. Oops, because the note breakdown is indeed different. It's more, it's a simplified note breakdown. So if you look at the old Profano note breakdown, you got Aqua Zone and Mastic, Rosemary, all these different things. Whereas you look at the note breakdown on the new one, it's that that uh, ever so simplified three note note breakdown: Marine Notes, Aromatic Essences, Woody Mineral Amber. So, but it does smell the same. I would say that Mimosa and Orange stand out more to me. Um, which they don't even list the mimosa here, but I get that mimosa and orange kind of smell going on. Uh, aquatic, fresh, citrus, synthetic, spicy. It's it's all of those things, both versions. It's still an 8.5 out of 10 fragrance. It's a great aquatic. It is on the synthetic side. I think it being the fourth accord, it's kind of being nice. Um, honestly, I would put it at more of a uh, like second or third because it's pretty synthetic. Uh, you got to know that going into it. But out in the air, magical fragrance. If you care about getting attention, strong fragrance, aquatic, 
timeless DNA mixed in there. It's good for that. Not everybody's going to like it. I get that. But it's one of those high success rate fragrances if you give a shit about people telling you you smell good. And it performs really well. That's always an added bonus, right? So if you don't have the old version, you can get the new version. But if you can get the old version still at a discounted rate, just get the old version. It's the same fragrance. This is a new, ref this is basically, they're trying to make it in line with the way they're doing their bottles now because they're doing this gradient thing. You'll notice that the new Parfum for Aqua de Joe has the gradients. The new Profondo Parfum has the gradients. They're kind of going that route. I believe they're doing the same thing with the Eau de Parfum, if I remember correctly. I think they revamped that bottle with gradients too. I think it's on here actually. See, look, the Parfum has the gradients. The new Parfum for Profondo has it. And I think the EDP, they did that as well. So that's the old EDP. You got to click refresh for it to work. It's weird. Let's see. I could have swore I saw it the other day. Let me just double check real quick. No, I guess not. Maybe I was tripping. I could have swore. I believe they do have... Um, a new version of Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum, which was featured in that top five colognes ever shorts video from this morning. Because I've grown to love that fragrance, by the way. I was underwhelmed the first time I smelled it, had a decant, drained the 3ML out of that decant. And then I got a bottle and it's kind of the go-to for me. Like when I want Aqua de Joe, I kind of reach for the Eau de Parfum. It's really good. No bad flankers, my opinion, of course, but no bad flankers to me. But once again, reiterate before we move on and we'll just hang out for a little while. We were 52 minutes in. Same thing. Same fragrance. Doesn't smell reformulated. If anything, this smells a little bit stronger than the old version. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Same scent profile, though. So put that over here. We'll move Oud Mineral. Both versions over here. Ferragamo Red Leather over here. And my scent of the day, Crete Original Santal over here. Get those bad boys out the way. Let's talk. All right, where was I? Okay, so I was there. Jonathan, good to see you. The late to the party, but legend spirit. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure they were half ounce. I just wanted to double check. So yeah, this is going to go in there. I mean, they're actually nice little 15 mLs. Any of you that haven't seen the Armani 15 mLs, they're all the same bottle. But it has that textured gradients to it. Giorgio Armani logo. You can get a little bit of sticker and batch code information and everything on the bottom. And 15 ml goes a long way. This is a factory sealed, basically small bottle is how you can look at it. So that's a, that's going to be part of the mystery pack, which makes it less of a mystery, right? But just to let you guys know, this will be in there. I have zero reason to hold on to that. Scored a lot on our date nights recently. Yeah, I believe they're all refillable, actually. All of their new ones moving forward. Thank you, Galan. Aqua Allegoria Orange Soleil. bought it off your recommendation like I do with all my purchases. I really trust you that much. I love it. Thanks again, Tyrone, man. I'm glad you told me that. Because this was a happy accident find. A happy accident, guys. Beautiful. It's blood orange, but it's much fresher. And even though they don't list white florals, I get a little bit of a white floral smell with it. This is great. Not a performance king, like four or five hours. But damn, is this a great spring fragrance. 52 bucks for this 125 ml in a white tester box. Great option. Glad, glad you scooped it up and you like it. Man, I love it too. I love it. Thank you for letting me know. I'm glad it worked out for you. Might be my favorite. Hey, I don't blame you. Climatic with the $20 super chat. I appreciate you. Ebay grailed the original for $450. i am now sick. Oh, you dropped $450 on the original? The first private blend version? <whistles> Damn. Damn. That seems to be the thing. If something's relatively popular, they seem to bring it back with the signature line. So I guess it pays to be patient with Tom Ford. Damn, man. Well, at least you can tell people you have the original. <laughs> I appreciate the super chat. Tried Oud Mineral at Sephora and didn't like the opening, but I enjoyed the drawdown on the way home. Sin of the day's Amiri. See, it's not going to be for everybody. Fizzy mineral and salt are facets I like about it. 
Yeah, man, that's that's rough. That's rough, Climatic. Ryan, good to see you. Smells a bit sweeter and less mineral feel to it. I get more intensified orange, I think, is the only real difference I kind of get from it. It's a little bit warmer and more orangey. Could just be me and, and the way it's coming off of my skin to me, you know. Ah. So the day I bought it, the pictures weren't up on most because I bought everything as soon as that restock of everything happened. The next day or so, they put the picture up with a gift set. And I was like, damn it, Brandon was right. Even though I tripped like I literally triple checked with my rep. So I had to fuss him. I was like, it's all good. I'm still going to keep it. But damn it. <laughs> I thought so. It's got like a grayish hue to it, right? I believe it. I believe it's a grayish hue. I think there's a picture because I could have swore I saw a picture somewhere. Hmm. I got to say, this is still a good looking bottle, though. That's still a damn good looking bottle, the original bottle. I quite like it. Well, they didn't restock it yet. It gets stocked on the 12th. They, the listing's up there and shows sold out. But it's not getting stocked to the 12th. It's going to be a very limited stock, and I'm going to be very mad if I don't hit it in time. Only question about Profondo Parfum is going to smell the same as the old version and the new. I don't know. The notes are a little bit different. Let's look at it together, shall we? Because we've, we've done a split screen looking at it, but you might not have been here for it. I believe it's a more woodsy take on it, if I remember correctly. What just happened? Butte perfume. There we go. I believe they said it's more woodsy. Captivating blend sensual and resinous base notes, aromatic mid notes, citrusy top notes, infused with marine notes, refreshing, powerful brain, blah, 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 blah. Aromatic woody. So you got green mandarin, marine notes, mimosa, patchouli, labdanum. So that's going to be your biggest difference right here. I believe it's going to be more of an ambery cystus labdanum than it is leathery since they talk about uh, it being a resinous base. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I feel like it's just going to be a more intensified, smoother version of it. It's probably going to have a pretty strong level of redundancy, but I'm definitely going to get it. I'm 100% because Profondo Lights is redundant to Profondo, but it's also greener and reworked and I actually like it more. So to each their own, but I quite like it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to like, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the Parfum. That's not bad. Yeah, that's going to be part of it. That's going to be part of it. I appreciate that, Dilly. Thank you, my man. Luna Rosa Sport is an underrated scent. It's the way I've always described it is Woody Lamal. Because it's very woodsy. Um at least a month. It's been a while. I finished that 30 ml and I opened the 50 ml and I wore it like three times since I opened the 50 ml. I think the last time I wore it was about a month ago, roughly. You know, because your profondo to me does come off with an orange citrus feel even on my skin. Yeah, it's a little bit more orangey than the other one. Oh, I think it's a beautiful fragrance. Citruses and creamy fresh florals. It's a beautiful fragrance. That was one of my favorite rack store pickups last year. I see how a 4K watch makes it. So Crazy Ups is a big watch guy, for those of you that didn't know. Um and I'm not surprised he's going to criticize me wanting an iced out Breitling. I don't care. Good to see you. Been a little while. Gary. Montal Fougere's Marine. Yeah, that's probably better to get than Tommy. It's more aquatic, but the opening smells very much like niche Tommy. Absolute instincts underappreciated for the scent and for the look of the bottle, actually. I'm with you on that. 
unironically still an absolutely amazing fragrance. It's still suave and lively. I know it's a 90 smell by association, but I feel it's actually super timeless. It's one of the greatest profiles ever to me personally, super nostalgic. Fondo lights had to grow on me. Something in the opening didn't appeal to my nose. It's a bit screechy. I find the originals more screechy than, than Profondo lights. I've actually grown to really love it. It smells so great. I've only smelled it once with Dedrick, and I very much got the grape soda vibe. I still need to get it. That's what I hear. I've heard it's been discontinued. There's been talks in the live chat here lately. I can't confirm. I don't know, but that's what I'm hearing. Trazamaya Sharaf blend. Noted. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, no thoughts, no opinions. I have no experience with it. Get you a nice date just for just a few K more. You balling out. Always got to bust your balls. I know. I know. You just, and that's why I'm being a smart ass back. I was like, I knew you were going to give me a hard time. So go figure. I talk about getting an iced out, iced out uh, luxury watch. And you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> So you, I guess you didn't see the part about the Yacht Master 40 two-tone Everose with the chocolate dial. That's the two watches I want. I want my over-the-top blingy watch, which I've had multiple diamond watches, but not they weren't luxury watches. They were watches with diamonds, whereas I want a luxury watch with diamonds, not factory set, because factory set, they're crazy expensive. Aftermarket diamonds, um, I've been having my eyeballs on a few Super Oceans for a while through chrono 24 and uh because you're a watch guy you know all about chrono 24 and uh, eventually i'm gonna get either the cream dial or the, the blue dial i might get the black dial i don't know we'll see what when the time comes but um eventually the rolex i'm gonna get one day one day is gonna be that yacht master 40 two-tone ever rose with the chocolate dial i've tried it on at a rolex dealer a few years ago I love it. It's stunning. It's to me, for my for my taste and what I like, it's the Rolex for me. And one day I will get it. One day. I might be 50, which is 11 years from now. I might be 50 when I get the damn thing. But one day. One day. I'm not getting that Breitling anytime soon. A couple more years. Got to get the house first. Doesn't make sense to get some iced out watch and I'm still living in an apartment. That's stupid. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get our next house. Then I'm getting my Corvette and I'll get get my iced out Breitling and I'll be good for quite a while. I like Bulgari Glacio Essence over Profondo Lights. Hey, it's each their own. A Chaos in the Ocean from Paris Corner. There you go. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's not just blingy, flashy, bright diamond things that I like. It's very specific Rolex that I want. Date Justs are nice. You, there's so much versatility with a date. You can get a steel Date Just and it goes with everything, right? The watch I want is very specific, not the most casual looking watch. Two tone ever rose gold with a chocolate dial. Looks a bit more dressy for a steel band watch, steel and ever rose gold, but um, it's the one, man. It's just such a beautiful piece to me. So one day. Uh, Rifakat, that's the way to go. Paris Corner, Emir Rifakat. It's spot on. Quality's not as good. I have both, but if, if, if I didn't have Baby Cat, I'd still be good with Rifakat. Late and exclusive, what are your thoughts on that fragrance? It's not for everyone. It's a very regal take on Leighton. So you get some funkiness. I believe Castorium's in there, and then you have a Loatian Oud. I believe it's, I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but there's a specific Oud. It's got this animalic, slightly funky tone. It's much darker. Uh, still has Leighton's DNA. It's a beautiful fragrance. I think it's a very situational kind of um, show-stopping kind of fragrance. But not for everybody. Like, people that don't like Leighton definitely won't like Leighton Exclusive because it's a different evolution. It's good, though. I think it's superior. I think it's superior to Leighton, but it's less wearable to me. Clean Musk. That's a good one. Doesn't last, really. I get phenomenal longevity out of it. Five hours, anything. Scent profile. Damn, I'm kind of surprised. Your skin drinks that stuff. Ooh, timeless, timeless. Not yet. Not yet. We will do that live when I get a decan. Uh, Diorum O oh, is always my answer because that's such a beautiful iris fragrance. I wish that would come back in the marketplace. Oh, we got less than 100 likes, really. Guys, we're better than this. Come on now. 
97 likes, 150 viewers. Guys, we're better than that. We've had a solid crowd. Come on now, hit that thumbs up for me. Do me a favor. We're literally three likes away. We got one. <laughs> Finish the decant and be solo blue. I'm going to get five mil of it. It's good stuff. A little goes a long way. Other than Montal and Sarah, what other being your, your I guess you meant bang for buck niche brands we recommend? Aqua de Parma. If you want some great one, I mean, they have great heavier stuff. I don't have any of them. I hear great things like Sandalo Concentrate. I've been wanting to get Aqua de Parma Oud. I heard it's phenomenal. They have some great darker fragrances I just don't have experience with, but they're fresh stuff. Everybody should have at least, if, everybody should have two or three. Fresher Aqua de Parma fragrances in their collection because you can get them for a really good price under a hundred bucks, big bottles, 5.1 ounce bottles for like 60 65 bucks. Um, Aqua de Parma, absolutely Aqua de Parma. Let's see, we we'll need a few more. Is there a good Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce clone? How much you want to spend? There's a multitude of price points of, of good ones because you can just get Mobile and Legend if you want to spend 30 bucks. It's close, it's good, works. Smoother, more refined version that kind of twists it. Legend EDP. If you want to really spend the money, get Parfums, Molly Percival. It's the ultimate for that profile. Um, Ferocity from Alexandria is really good. It's on the higher end price of clones, but it's really good. I don't really have a go-to, but I am wearing Creed Original Santal today. It's actually my sin of the day. But if I just had to pick one, it would be Creed Aventus Cologne. Not Aventus, Aventus Cologne. That's my favorite Creed. 107 now. Hell yeah. Let me click refresh. Appreciate that, guys. It does help. 122 now. Thank you, guys, because it does help. It does push this stream while live. On the algorithm more to notify more people to put it on more home feeds and stuff like that i appreciate that it does help that's why you hear creators saying please press that like button it does help us got here late going to rewind but good evening everyone we're in north stag Twa, which is the imagination clone yeah legend edp is a great option tip black reserve very nice highly recommend cheap good ci's long lasting nice amber lavender i don't have a favorite initio I actually don't own a single Initio bottle. I've had several different decants, Atomic Rose, Side Effect. I've tried Musk Therapy. I've had a decant of Oud for Greatness. I've tried Oud for Happiness. None of them really grabbed me to where I felt like I had to have a bottle. I'm assuming he's. you're talking to Ryan. Ryan, you mind letting him know? Why Imperial? I tried it one time with Justin, and I don't remember. It's been a while. It was on a test strip. Beach Hut, just got my sample today. Wasn't really a big fan of the opening, but the dry down has been amazing so far. The openings can be a little pungent with Amouage because they're so strong. Uh, well, I didn't have bad thoughts on it at all. No, I still feel the same. I still think it's top three in the line. It's not my favorite. The EDP is still my favorite. Were you hoping it became my favorite? Because it's not. The EDP is still my favorite. I gave it like an 8 or an 8.5 or something like that, guys. <laughs> it's still highly rated. Boy, if I don't say something's my favorite and, and it's somebody else's favorite, their feelings get hurt. Ravi, is your feelings hurt? I still love you. Puss the Lily has samples of be solo blue. There you go. Probably get two MLs, I would think. I have ferocity and I can vouch that it's so damn good. Yeah, I wore it this past summer on a trip to Louisiana. I brought it with me. It was actually the travel day scent. I remember specifically. Cherry smoke. I haven't tried it. Twisted Lily has many samples. Mm hmm. Ooh, Tom Ford fucking fabulous. It's okay. It doesn't really speak to me. I could get why people like it. It is a unique fragrance. Molinard Feig. Great choice, Giancarlo. Great choice. Really? Like Greenly? Disagree. That's my thoughts. Disagree. Um, a lot of ginger. I believe pink pepper kind of shines in that. Clearly musky and everything. It has that you know ambergris muskiness that Creed's known for. Vibe and style, I get. Scent profile, no. I don't think they smell similar. 
but they can do the same job. Like I would wear them in the same scenarios. Just my thoughts. But I mean, hey, if they smell similar to you, they smell similar to you. Neither of us are right or wrong. Just our opinions. Ooh, I would recommend both. If you want the more unique fragrance, go with the EDP. Leather Aquatic. Dark Leather Aquatic, too. Uh, and the Intense is very woodsy. Very woody dominant. Super versatile. Not as intense as you would think. With very versatile fragrance. He got it from Decant X. Ooh, yeah, it is so good. It is so good. My bottle is right there. Right there. So we're at an hour and 10 minutes. We still got a decent crowd. We still got 130 hanging out. You guys have anything specific you want to ask or discuss real quick before we shut it down? All right, same style as the other fragrances like White Musk from Authenticity. So ooh, not a perfume you're barely going to smell. It's a very faint fragrance. Um, Royale is a resinous blonde wood fragrance. It's not even close to what Clean Musk is. Royale is the least musky of the Royales. The musk starts toning up at X, and none of the Royales smell like clean musk, smell like authenticity clean musk. None of them do. They're much more complex and resinous and stuff like that. Um, but regular signature Royale, the first one, citrus at the top, a little bit of magnolia, white floral, and it's a creamy sandalwood, suntal kind of fragrance. Um, and then has the resins, the myrrh and stuff like that, kind of darkens it up, makes it balsamic. It works in warmer weather, but yeah, that's quite different from Authenticity Queen Musk. Yes, Chad gave me this. We did a live stream talking about it a few days ago. So I got Lavanzo right here. Beautiful green citrus, super fresh. Just got it, well, had it for a couple of weeks, but I just opened it and smelled it with Chad last week in the live stream. It's still right here within arm's reach. I bone because of my love developing for Zaharoff. Well, considering Second Soul is pretty much your favorite fragrance. So, um, great question. I was uh, two meals into me because I didn't weigh myself fast this morning. I don't do it every single day, but I was 189 yesterday. Today, fully clothed, two meals in my stomach. I was 193 on the scale at the gym. In between sets, I was by the scale. So, yeah, let me go weigh myself. So I probably would have been 188, 189 this morning fast that I would think. Because fully clothed, the shoes and everything, that's an easy four pounds. Hat, I didn't have my headphones. I had my earbuds in. But hat, jewelry, the watches, the bracelets, the necklace, everything factors in. Um, pants, high top vans, they're not the lightest shoes and everything. So about four pounds of just head to toe what's on my body. Um, so that right there puts me at 189. Just down to my boxers, I probably would have been 188. Without the food in my stomach, maybe even 187.5 or something like that because I had two meals in my stomach. Well, one. Defecated a few times. You know, digestive tract's really running the way I eat. Um, I metabolize food quickly. Quickly, I digest and metabolize. So I probably would have been in the 187 between 187 and 188 this morning fasted based on that information. Getting leaner. Abs are coming out more. Um, I don't know how many of you follow my fitness Instagram page. The last post I made while I was at the gym was on my way out. It was a, a double bicep from behind shot and see how much my back's leaning out. My waist is getting smaller. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Still got 84 days. 84 days out from the first show. Second show is four weeks later, 28 days later. And then I go into a full off season with my coach so I can build back bigger for next year because I will compete next year. Get, get bigger and compete next year because I've never had a full off season with a coach. So I'm going to do that. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm doing 75 minutes of cardio now, seven days a week, up from 60. So but thank you for asking. Oh, where was I? Royal X. So that's it's still none none of the three smell like authenticity queen must not comparable in the least. Legend Spirit, nice grapefruit aquatic. It's good stuff. Smells really good. Easy going. I don't recall trying anything from Floris. Good to see you, Dennis. Bertus 23 Carat. Awesome presentation. A dark wood Aventa style fragrance. Wilhelm Dark Citrus. Um, I have Wilhelm Black Citrus. Is that what you mean by dark citrus? I have black citrus. 
I don't think they have dark citrus. I think you, we're talking about the same fragrance. I have that one. I have Mar Maritimo. I have several. I got a few reviews on them, too. My favorite is Jaguar Pace Accelerate. I think I have a review on Pace and Pace Accelerate, actually, but Pace Accelerate is my favorite Jaguar fragrance. I don't have a lot of them. Military Fours, oh, my God. Enough. I ain't trying to mess with the numbers. <laughs> The military force. Man, it seems like almost every day they're still announcing new shit. I've never seen a sneaker year like this. Jordan Brand and Nike are killing me, dude. There's more foams got announced. There's more J's coming. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want. They are killing me this year. They should spread this out more. Like, already in a week, I'm getting the Flint Gray 14s, and then two weeks later, the Powder Blue 9s are dropping. And then right after that, they got some foams dropping that I want. He's like pearl grays is what they're called. They look amazing. I want those. Then the month after, the royals are coming back. The royal foams, they're coming back. The original color. And this is just in this first, you know, next six weeks. Man, they are killing me. They are killing me. I don't know. What's going on, Randy? Before I hit the road, wearing Atelier Pacific Lime. Hell yeah. Aqua, yeah, I know. Trust me. I saw the post in my feed from Alberto Marias, and then 20 people sent it to me in my DMs. I've been dealing with that all day long. I'm ready for it. I, I mean, Profondo Parfum needs to come out first. <laughs> but I'm going to get both. I'm going to get both. Be careful on the road, Randy. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I just enjoy fragrance, man. I enjoy cheapies just as much as I enjoy expensive stuff. Uh, I'm more 60-40 designer. I wear designer more than I wear niche. I, I just happen to be wearing a good bit of niche this week. It's literally one, two, three, four. Four of the seven main fragrances, the daytime fragrances, four of the seven are niche this week. But usually it'll shake out to like two niche fragrances in a week, and it's normally designers and indie stuff most of the time. But like the designers I'm wearing, this is a super cheapy Zorro Bright Visit. This is a $14.30 mail that Chad hooked me up with. And then I got LeBeau Paradise Garden and Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir, two new releases that I'm wearing. And then Herbie Beeves is going to jump in. I've got all these new Zerjoffs I've been meaning to wear. Still got Lamal Lever to wear. I got so much. I got Montals that I got that I need to wear. Still Guerlain's. I'm always getting new fragrances and never enough time to wear all of them. But yeah, I just enjoy fragrance. I... I'm so passionate about fragrance. It's a weird hobby. It's a weird thing to be this into, I think. But I am. And I'm unapologetic about it. It's what I like to talk about on the internet. So. Great content coming from you, man. I really enjoy the breakdowns you do and appreciate the addition of fitness. My favorite fragrance YouTuber right now makes me want to start a channel. Well, Adam, just do it. If you, if you feel compelled to do it, do it, my man. But I appreciate the kind words. I really do. Thank you very much. Let me sniff in the spot I sprayed second soul on my arm, thinking about how much I love this damn fragrance. I believe it. I believe it. I already answered that. Uh, so I don't track macros. I just weigh food. My coach gives me a plan, and I follow it. All of my food is weighed by the gram. I have various in it every, every five days. Every check-in to every other check-in, my meal plan changes. And uh, right now we're doing check-ins every five days. The closer we get to the show, check-ins will go to four days, three days, two days, to every day. As we get right a couple, two weeks out, it's going to be every day we're checking in. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't track macros. I don't know what my calories are. I don't know what my macros are. I don't ask. I'm paying her to guide me. I do what my coach tells me to do. She wins. 2022 Louisiana Coach of the Year. 2023 Louisiana Coach of the Year, and she's up for it again, and they give the award at the show I'm doing. She literally told me, yeah, they give that award at the show you're doing, so no pressure. <laughs> so, yep, she gets results. She's who my friends use, and she, she's IFBB pro, retired from competing, but she's a carded IFBB pro for bodybuilding too, not for uh, physique or anything like that. She's an actual bodybuilder. She's good. She's good. It's not real strong for me. It's like four or five hours for me. I wonder what Randy gets. E, good to see you. Kajal Ferris, great fragrance. Good to see you, sir. Five. That's about what I get. So we get about the same. 
Sure did. He sure did. Oh, uh, no, I think Royale X is much more all-around. Clean Musk is much more casual, I think. Yeah, because Royale X is a more complex fragrance. Tar Heels versus Duke tomorrow night. Go Heels. That's what I'm talking about. Go Heels. Ooh, uh, fall. The transitional seasons. But, man, living by the beach, I think it's summer now. Because I really get to, like, I thoroughly get to enjoy p tropical fragrances now. Because I literally live in the setting. Whereas before it was a transportive thing, wearing tropical stuff. Now I literally go eat grilled shrimp by the beach. Shout out to Sharkies, one of our favorite places. Pineapple Willies, all these different places. Hooked and there's countless places to literally eat right on the beach. It's phenomenal. It's awesome. We love it here. So it was always autumn. It's kind of summer now since I moved to the beach. Because I really get the most out of those fragrances now. I wear literally wear them to the beach. I do shorts videos from the beach on Dog Beach. Because we like to go to Dog Beach where all the dogs are by the pier. By one of the piers. One of the couple, There's a couple piers we go to. But that's our favorite spot. So yeah. I, I got to switch it to summer now. It just makes sense. Yeah, the releases are crazy this year. Since we're heading into Mania, how about sent for the Rock and Roman? Uh, well, we know Roman's a Creed Aventus guy. Um, he's made that public a while back with his GQ 10 things he has to travel with. He can't travel without. That was a couple of years ago. With the Rock, <laughs> he probably wears something like cool water. <laughs> you know, something just simple. Yeah, it's really good. Very photorealistic. Legit stuff. I can't wait to get that. That one's on the radar, too. Honey Oud and Elite. Okay. What about Balmain? Oh, it, that's a Balmain fragrance? No, I've never even looked into it. There you go. Sheeper Aromatic. Tried King Six. Ensemble Le Privé. I've never even heard of that. Not familiar with it, my man. I'm a fragrance fiend, Ross. I'm trying to get help. <laughs> find me with smelling smelling bottles and a uh, mean pair of J's. I'm sick. I mean, that's basically me. I'm still wearing the Vans I was wearing at the gym earlier. I mean, I didn't switch into any J's or anything. I'm wearing the checkerboard Van Highs that I was wearing to the gym earlier. I'm still rocking those. I didn't switch out. So I wasn't going anywhere, so there's no reason to switch it up. I was just coming hang with you guys on the internet. So, Because the next thing I wear is going to be these 14 candy canes. I got in a couple of days ago. Kicks Griffey, you'll appreciate it. The 2019 release, I finally got around to getting them. Bought them dead stock. Shout out to the GOAT. They get too much money from me. Kaput Monday, side effect. Ani, Wulong Cha, Lemon Mint, 1819. Damn. Tell me you smell a fragrance that takes you to a different place. I can tell you're passionate about fragrances. I love it. I love it. I'll, it'll never be enough sniffing experiences for me. I enjoy it too much. So we're almost to an hour and a half, seven minutes away. So we'll stop at an hour and a half. We'll hang for a few more minutes, try to get caught up, and then we'll shut it down an hour and a half. That was hilarious. I saw the footage. Yeah, he was getting booed at, doing his speech at the wedding. Because that's his gimmick is getting booed. That's part of his gimmick. So... Congratulations to Dominic Mysterio on getting married to his high school sweetheart. That was hilarious. I heard Rhea gave him away. That was what I read. Was He had Rhea give him away. Shout out to Demi. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know Rhea Ripley's name is Demi. Of course it is because she's Australian. That's like the popular Australian name is Demi. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, that's a beautiful tropical fragrance. I'm a big fan of Jacques Foth. I have um, Verla Sioux, Greenwater, Carrasso Bay. I have um, drawn blanks on a few of them. I have a few other ones. Why am I drawing blanks? Velours Boisse. I got two other ones. Why am I drawing blanks on the names? I have six or seven fragrances from them. They're all fantastic great house great 
fragrance house. Burlington, 1819, Millicene Imperial, Renaissance, and Aventus Cologne are standing by. That's a great lineup. Damn. Candy Cane 14s are clean. Yeah, and look, I grabbed the black and white suede 14s that came out the day before, two days before Christmas. I got those recently. I was waiting for the price to drop, and the price didn't drop. I thought they were going to sit and go into retail like half the other non-original colors do, but that didn't happen. And I'm worried, like part of me wants to wait on these Flint Gray 14s, but I have a feeling others are going to feel like I do and be like, wow, that's a sick pair of shoes. I have to get those, which means the price ain't going to drop. So I'm going to just buy them. Um, and then the Black Toe 14s are coming out November 2nd. That's a hype beast pair because it's the OG color. So, but I got to, I got to have them. I've been wanting those since I was in eighth grade. <laughs> I've never got the re-releases. So I'm definitely getting them this time around. There you go. You cold candy canes I'm hating. Come on now. Come on now. I had the last shots years ago. I sold them though. I forgot which year release it was. Oh, nine. I want to say release something like that. Good day from Australia. Classic angels hat. Yeah. California angels. Good to see you. You think about Richwood in comparison. I've never tried either of those. Good to see you. Welcome from Germany. I haven't tried either though. Temp the Tom. There you go. That's another one I have. Have a great weekend. You as well. You as well. Foth rocks. I agree. Nate, good to see you. Ooh. Uh, to me, the Astros hats, because they have a diverse collection of logos, especially from the customs out there. Oh, hands down. I don't care if you like that. And I don't mean you, anybody watching. I don't care if you hate the Astros. You can't deny they have a robust and diverse option for hats any of you that are in the hats because that yankees logo and red red Sox got a couple logos yankees pretty much have the, the logo maybe two three logos something like that but the astros they have concept logos they have multiple generation retro logos they have multiple current logos and different color schemes all along the way the city connect logo is the best one ever the h with the star and the orbit I got a few of those. Two, I got the, the actual on-field one, and I got two customs that are incredible. But I easily, you can see how excited I got. Not just because the Astros and the Braves are my two favorite teams, but the Astros hats. One of the most diversified logo and color combo sets in all of major sports when it comes to hats, to me. Never tried that one. Well, the thing is that I just pay ship. The 14 something's just shipping. <laughs> Unless the fees are built in. But I mean, it depends because sometimes I get them under retail. Certain ones you can get under retail right away. Like right away. Like I almost bought those black and white high OG ones that came out like two weeks ago. The day they released, they were like $40 off retail. The day they released, and it was like, man, I got a lot of white and black J's right now. And I got those reverse Panda Dunk Lows. I haven't even wore those yet. I was like, mm, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to get those. The Orcas, the ones, high OGs, and the Sixes under retail immediately, still under retail. like, And not 10 or 20 bucks either, like 40, 50 bucks under retail. Certain colors, they're just immediately under retail. Thank God. It used to, it was not like that for a stretch. Resellers have killed the shoe market. I remember the good old days of just going to Foot Locker and buying the damn things. Cinnadate Isola Blue, great choice. React Zooms are great for a bad back. Indeed. Devil Rays hats. Hey, Tampa Bay for sure. They're up there. I got a ton of different logos and styles for Devil Rays. Yes, I'm with you on that. You have a great weekend as well. I feel for you. I, I really do. Because I have all navy blue, big chief Wahoo. Not the little one that was on the on fields. Like I got the customs with patches. All navy blue, big chief Wahoo. Navy blue, red bill, big chief Wahoo. And then all red, big chief Wahoo. I got the three main ones I wanted. 
Chief Wahoo is my favorite logo in sports ever. I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. Because my little league team, all the way to high school, we were the Indians. I had Chief Wahoo on my hat most of my childhood. I wasn't a real like Cleveland Indians fan, but we were the Indians. That was that was us, my little league team. And we had Chief Wahoo. That was our hat. We had Chief Wahoo hats. Blue with the red bill. So I grew up for years wearing that every year for baseball season during our baseball season. So that's a that logo means a lot to me. So I was very disappointed to see Chief Wahoo go. So the city did not like the change, but had no choice. Yeah, it's what it is. Look, the Braves have come out and said we're not doing it, but we'll see. I'm going to be pissed off if it happens to the Braves too. With the Redskins, yeah, the logo was cool, but eh, I was never a Redskins slash commander slash the Washington football team. Uh, I was never a fan of the team and the organization anyway, so I really didn't care. But Chief Wahoo specifically, it was about the logo for me because it's very – childhood tie nostalgia for me you know very dry woody smoky oud it's three different types of oud but it's not funky it's a gorgeous fragrance it really is wow factor kind of stuff amazing definitely worth a sample great choice what's up jared wow he's piling them in huh so we're about to shut it down i got to the bottom too yeah everyone have that's Great spot to start. Leo, you have a blessed, wonderful weekend as well. All of you guys, thank you for coming to hang out with me. Again, any of you that were skeptical, the new release of Ubin Aral smells exactly like the last release. The new version of Profondo does smell a little bit more orangey than the old version, but it does come across a little stronger to me. So positive for a lot of you guys looking for performance. Could just be me. And then Red Leather from Ferragamo. It is really good. I think it's 8 out of 10. Great kind of stuff. But I would not encourage anyone going buy it from Ferragamo for retail like I did. Let me blind buy it at full retail so you don't have to. Look at it that way. Wait. Let it hit discounters. Unless you can go sample it at a Ferragamo store and you're just like, oh, this is what I've been missing. And you're cool with paying the 115 I think it was. Then, yeah, go for it. You know, go for it. But no need to rush out and get it. It's good, but it's not so good that it's something I would be like, guys, this – Get it now. No, not that serious. But make sure to like this stream before you guys leave. Check out today's video, some clones with a twist. Fragrance by sent my way that literally I wore Pacific Woods last night. It smells like a powdery woodsy Invictus. It's an Invictus intense twist. And look at this atomizer. I wore it last night. It's Invictus intense plus powder and woods. Intensified powderiness and woods. I love it. This was my favorite in the video. So that's the only spoiler I'll give for the video. But go check out that video if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, I will see you guys again on Monday uh, tonight because they're not leaving. They're leaving right now, actually. My daughter and son-in-law are heading this way. They won't be getting in until late. And uh, they're staying for the weekend. So no streaming. You guys won't hear from me this weekend. You'll still get your daily content. Don't get me wrong. Of course, I'm going to have my daily content. But no streams this weekend. No, I got bored and I got some time to spare and jump on short notice. It's not going to be any of that because th those happen from time to time. Uh, so it won't be any of that. So I'll see you guys on Monday. We'll chop it up again for another live stream. Be on the lookout for upcoming content throughout the weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you Monday. Have a good one.